tonight on At Discovery Canada on a wing and a prayer, the story behind the first unmanned crossing of the Atlantic. But first tonight, an aviation first. Late in August, a group of pioneers gathered in Newfoundland. They were trying to do something that had never been done before, fly a plane across the Atlantic without the benefit of a pilot. Planes are called aerosons. They're three meters across, weigh about 15 kilograms, and hold 10 liters of gas. Now, just in case something went wrong, the team brought three planes. The first one had a great takeoff. It soared majestically in the direction of Scotland, but it never actually showed up there. Right now, the team cannot track the planes over the Atlantic, so they don't know what happened to it. The second one had a beautiful launch, but when they switched from manual control to automatic pilot, it crashed into the ocean. They were now zero for two. That's 20,000 American dollars per plane down the drain. Fortunately, the third one made it, landing in Scotland August 21st after a 26-hour flight, the first unmanned flight across the Atlantic Ocean. So it's, so it's kept its course on us, yeah? Yep. It's right on track. The green line is its track, and that's its position right now, the red vector. That shows it coming on in. Still in. Can you get it in the way? Smile at camera, Greg. <laughs> All right, we got it. Lima, number three. All right. I have the airplane. All right. Airspeed's 23, 24. Altitude, 148. Speed 20, 21. That's bloody amazing. Altitude 38. Speed 22. Engine off! Engine off. Speed, speed 18. 19. 18. 17. 16. 16. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> 